Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to dive deep into the exciting new features that have been introduced in Magisk version 28, which was released just this week. Not only will we explore the new features, but we'll also guide you through the process of updating from Magisk 27 to 28. Let's get started. The first step is to download the Magisk 28 APK file from the official Magisk website. Once you've downloaded the APK, open it and follow the on-screen instructions to install Magisk. After the installation is complete, open the Magisk Manager app and go to the About section. Here, you should see that the Magisk version is now 28. One of the most significant updates in Magisk 28 is the improved Safety Net Bypass. SafetyNet is a Google service that checks for unauthorized modifications to Android devices. Magisk has always been known for its ability to bypass SafetyNet, but with version 28, this capability has been refined even further. This means you can enjoy a wider range of apps and services that previously might have been incompatible with rooted devices. Magiskinit and Magisk Boot, the core tools for root access, are now built using a minimal libc library. This reduces their overall size, leading to a more efficient use of storage space. Zygisk is a method for injecting code into apps at runtime. The internal implementation for hooking applications using Java native interface has been optimized for better performance and stability. This allows enforcing a list of apps that Magisk shouldn't hide from detection, even if Zygisk is not actively running. Magisk 28 is a significant release that brings a number of exciting new features and improvements. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more Android rooting content.